Hello YouTubers. In this video, I'll show a jig to remove the second row seats from any minivan without pulling your back. Why use a jig to remove the seats? If you've ever seriously pulled your back, you know how excruciatingly painful it is. Most muscle pulls take four to six weeks to heal. Severe muscle pulls could take up to 10 weeks to heal. With a pulled back, it can take five minutes plus just to stand up. This is why it's worth the hassle for me to use the jig to remove the second row seats from our 2019 Honda Odyssey minivan. The seats weigh 70 pounds each, the seat back will not fold flat, and the seat back will not lock in the forward position. It's really hard to remove the second row seats. Now, without further ado, here's the removal video. A short A-frame is placed inside of the van. This is the beam that will hold the slider. I'm pointing to a little block of wood that needs to be on the outside of the beam. That block of wood will be used to space this PVC support that I am putting into a hole in the beam. Now I'm going to the back of the van to verify that the short A-frame is vertical. Since it is vertical, now I'm just adjusting the beam to be about in the center of the doorway. Now I'm spreading the A-frame apart so that it will tightly grip the beam. This is the slider assembly. I'm indicating that the brake end of the pulley should go on the outside. I'll list all of the parts for the slider and pulleys later. You put the slider into the track and then push it all the way in to make the outer end lighter. And then you lift up the beam and insert it into the jaws of the long A-frame. Then spread the long A-frame apart so that the jaws tightly grip the beam. Then remove the PVC temporary support and the beam is now held by both A-frames. Um, pull the slider out and lower the pulleys. This is a seat belt that goes around the backrest of the seat. Its purpose is to keep the seat upright and prevent it from tipping over when the seat is lifted. There's a carabiner that attaches to the center pulley of the pulley system for that purpose. The seat belt is best installed at the beginning of this procedure. This is the seat support board that will go under the seat. The four large inner holes are where the rubber seat supports that are under the seat go. The four smaller outer holes are where the pulley lift brackets go. To install the seat support board, first tilt the seat forward. Then insert the board underneath the seat. Then slide the pulley assembly over the seat. Insert the inner pulley lift bracket into the holes in the seat support board. Then insert the outer pulley lift bracket into the holes in the seat support board. And take up the slack and the rope. Next, pull down in the center of the rope to lift the seat a bit and tilt the seat back which releases the front notches in the seat bracket from the van. Then attach the carabiner on the seat belt to the center pulley. Lift the seat up and then verify that it will clear the brackets. Now slide the seat out of the van. This is an 18 by 12 inch dolly that I bought from Harbor Freight for $7.98 on sale. I bought two dollies, one for each second row seat. 
I'm installing a bungee cord on the outside of the seat to help keep the seat even when lowering it. The bungee cord is optional. Lower the seat until it rests on the dolly. Release the tension on the pulley rope and then release the carabiner from the center pulley and remove the inner pulley lift bracket. Remove the bungee cord and remove the outer pulley lift bracket. Now you can roll the seat to your storage location. Having two dollies, one for each seat, is so worth it. Here's an accelerated video of the reinstall process. Here are some project details. The seat belt is an airplane seat belt extender that I purchased from Amazon. I made a U-hook and inserted it into the slot in the male seat belt clip. A carabiner with a threaded joint is inserted into the U-hook. Since one seat belt extender was not long enough, I cut the gray belt at the female clip and then sewed a blue seat belt to the gray belt. The blue seat belt is one that I had previously salvaged from an abandoned car. Initially I bought two airplane seat belt extenders and clipped them together to obtain the needed length. The U-hook was made from a heavy duty coat hanger that is 7 seconds of an inch in diameter. I bent it by heating it up with a map gas torch. Then I cut the ends off to match the male clip. This is how the pulley lift bracket is inserted into the holes in the seat support board. Here's details for the PVC support. Make both A-frames first, then make the PVC support about one inch shorter to be able to remove it after the long A-frame is installed. A one and a half inch block of wood is used as a spacer so that the PVC support does not interfere with the sliding pulley assembly. The track is six feet long and the two by three wooden beam is extended on both ends to accommodate the saw horse brackets. The A-frames installed on both ends of the beam prevents the sliding pulley assembly from falling out of the track. The board used for the sliding pulley assembly is 3 fourths of an inch thick, 30 inches long, and 4 inches wide. There are 6 wood screws to secure each bracket. The track rollers are secured on the other side of the board using the screws that came with the kit. Here are the dimensions for the seat support board. The short A-frame legs are 43 inches from the top of the sawhorse bracket to the bottom of the leg and the long legs are 62 inches long. Hardware used. 
This is an overview of the pocket door track, pulleys, and saw horse brackets. The bike lift hoist for garage storage contains the pulleys, and it was purchased from Amazon for $19.95. The Fulton medium saw horse brackets were also purchased from Amazon for $11.47. The Johnson Pocket Door Hardware 100PD, 72 inches long, was purchased from Home Depot for $33.86. This concludes this video on removing the second row seats from a minivan. If you found the information to be useful or entertaining, please click the thumbs up. To see other videos that I've posted, do a YouTube search for useful gizmos and a list of videos that I've posted will pop up. Included are videos on a generator quiet box, miter saw stand, and DIY scaffold, among others. Subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.